when we go back to, to unconstrained knees, um, we have heard, we have the, the um, differentiation between CR and PS. So this is what, what you see here, the CR knee, and in the PS knee, you see this um, peg going into the box, but you also have the differentiation between fixed bearing and mobile bearing knees. So fixed bearing knee means the insert is fixed to the tibia implant, while in a mobile bearing knee, this um, insert is free to rotate on the tibia platform and the uh, size of the um, rotating insert is matching the femur. And the great majority of fixed bearing knees, the size of the insert matches the tibia. Uh, it, and there are a few, few modern implants where also in fixed bearing knees, the insert matches the, the femur and gives you more conformity, but th those are only a few. Again, you need to know which uh, implant you use and what, what is the geometry and, uh, and the specification of my, of my implant you use. And you will find also some other um, inserts. You will hear the word deep dish and you will also hear the word medial pivot knee. So these are specific insert designs that should help to give you additional stability, for example, with the deep dish, if the PCL is, um, is gone. And a medial pivot knee is trying to mimic the natural situation a bit better than uh, the, the standard insert. So you have a conforming medial um, insert that matches the, the femur quite, quite good. And there is not a lot of AP translation in that compartment now, but in the lateral compartment, the insert is very flat and it is allowing this um, translation uh, and the lateral side. So that should mimic the natural behavior of the knee when it flexes. Um, so a very interesting idea. So they are not all the same and we have talked a bit on the differences. So it is important to know the difference between a fixed and a mobile bearing and uh, of course a CR and a PS. When it comes to the comparison and we look at results, um, there, there are a lot of um, uh, registry uh, data uh, at the different parts of, of the world, a lot of studies. And in the end, I think we can summarize there is no real difference between a fixed bearing and a mobile bearing knee when it comes to survival rate or when it comes to uh, clinical performance. So. It is, I think, more the preference of the surgeon, which implants he uses in which patient. So um, that 